Good morning. Well, this one could be fun. Um, I've just come around to pick Mark up, load his gear into the car, and we're heading off to do an urban camp in London. We're going to be in East London, not really the suburbs either, sort of, yeah, in London. Don't know about the location, never been there before. It's an invite camp. See how it goes. Well, not quite what we wanted. A21, the main road north, is closed for roadworks. So we've been diverted and we're driving through the nice town of Tunbridge, but not what you want when you want to be getting somewhere. We've been in nose to tail traffic for the last half an hour. Good start. Well, after fighting our way through the traffic, we're finally here. Yeah. Took us two and a half hours. But hey, we're here now, the sun's out. What more do you want? I'll give you a, a quick look round and introduce who we're with. Right, we're setting up alongside the lake here. And yes, this is in the middle of London, which is quite odd, really. And round here we have, oh, I'm not even introducing him, you know who he is. <laughs> and if you don't, where have you been? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we've got Chris, and we've got, well, got Gary. Any appropriate links and so on for channels and whatever, I shall stick in the description as normal. I'm going to be setting up here somewhere. And can you see over that way? Just about to see the clock tower there. That's the main road. That's where the population is. And we're just stepped off the road here into this little oasis of trees. This is going to be an interesting one. As you can see, we are all set up and the guy's just sitting there having a beer and a bit of a chat. I'm not sure if you can see them, they're behind the bush. I can just about see Mark. Um, I've gone with the little, the cheapo one-man tent. And seeing the weather at the moment, I'm beginning to regret it. I think I should have just gone bivvy bag. It is so warm today. It's going to be bloody hot in that tent. Um, I've even brought the Dura 2 sleeping bag instead of the jungle because I packed at the beginning of the week I knew it was going to be a busy week so I packed well in advance um, now the weather's changed I'm going to be too bloody hot I might even end up sleeping on top of the sleeping bag if this you know if it stays warm like this we'll see what happens now this is a bit of a crazy location I don't know if you can hear the traffic or not but we are in East London. And just behind those trees, about 100 metres away, is the River Thames. But this bit of uh, sort of no man's land is owned by the local sort of waterways and it is all fenced off and secure. But Chris works for the company and he's got the keys. So yeah, interesting spot. Not really what I was expecting. What was I expecting? I don't know really, but I didn't sort of expect this sort of environment camping in East London. It's good though. Well, you can't see that bird there. It's uh, too dark where he's in the reeds. There's a little like a uh, canal here all part of the sort of the flood control area I can't tell you what sort of water fowl it was because I'm not really up on birds no, I've just had a, a, a walk around this scrubby bit of ground just having a, a look around really I think this takes me back to yes it does back to the campsite that's the the back of Mark's tent up there Handy little spot to have. Guys are just getting some lunch on. No, sorry, I mean I will bring you back shortly. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're camping urban, why bother cooking? We're off to the takeaway. Well, this is about 
five minutes walk from where we're camping. I'm turning towards the sun, so excuse me if it's overexposed. That's that clock tower <clears throat> that we can see from the campsite. So we've come into this little shopping mall here and we've decided we could have kebabs. Well, this is the first for a wild camp. Donna Kebab Wild Camp. Perfect. <laughs> Well, we had a good night last night. About midnight, we went to bed after a few beers, like you do. A uh, very pleasant evening. It's just slept well, slept very well. A bit warm, but you know, slept slept good. Uh, it's about half past six now. Uh, I think I've only woken up because I need a wee. So I think I'll have a wee wee if no one else is awake. I think I'll go back to bed. Let me show you how close to civilization we were last night. I'm sure we just about make out chairs and whatever that's that's where we're camping in that corner all right turn you around on this what path oh just missed it <laughs> one of the double decker buses going past right. you see that sign over there just here it's on the edge of the road um it's a, a dead end piece but it's like one of them turning round loops for the buses because it's like end of the route. And in the distance here, that, that green fence, that's where we walked in. And the buildings behind are the edge of that little sort of precinct where we went and got our kebabs last night. So this little patch here, it's only a, only a small Small little patch of scrub it goes over about as far as that big willow in the background there, and the uh, the lakes through there. There is several wooded pieces around it, but you have to sort of access them separately um, for fishing. So it's just uh, lucky that Chris has got permission to be here because um, he works for the company that does all the waterway maintenance and that sort of thing. So he's got keys to the gate. But yeah. Nice little location. Middle of East London. But secured because you've got high fencing all around. Which is uh, quite reassuring. <laughs> No movement from Gary yet, I think he's still asleep. Chris has just got up. 
Mark's tent over there. I, I don't know whether he's awake or not. But as I was putting the, the kettle on, I could hear some farting going on, so who knows. As you can see, the guys are just getting packed up. It'll be almost time to leave. We're, we're done quite early because As normal I'm not, Alan. yeah, well, I'm always fairly early, but I'm rush, not, rush, rush. not really looking forward to that drive home. I like driving, I don't like sitting in traffic. <laughs> no, it's not fun. Right, the walk back to the car, ready for the long drive, but it's been good. There's Marky. There's Chris and Gary. Just about, <laughs> just about to see him. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for inviting us, guys. We've, we've had fun. No worries. It's been no good. Anytime. And uh, hopefully you can come down and, and pay us a visit as well at some point. Yeah, that'd be good. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.